everybody, welcome back to another Random Sam Epic Mom, and it's time for another book review, which, as you guys know, I love books. Now, this one I have reread several times. It came out several years ago. It is Stephanie Lauren's The Capture of the Earl of Glen Cray. Very nice. Um, I love these books because it takes place in a different time, different standards, all that. Heck, even on a different continent. So, again completely different of what it's like here in today's society and you guys anybody who doesn't read historical romance in this time frame and i want to let you know it's in 1829 1829 guys this means it is after the napoleonic wars it is after all this bs but there are no cars there are no internet, no, you know, basic running water. You are not going to have the abilities that you have now. Heck, there's not even, you know, much indoor plumbing. It is just, you know, toilets aren't even really a thing, okay, guys? It is a completely different situation. It is a completely different lifestyle. But that's just the way it is. Now, in this one... A n notorious Scotsman has been uh, trying to kidnap sinister daughters. And again, this is a sinister novel, uh, The Sinister Family. And this one is the third one of these three sisters. Uh, each of her older two sisters has already been kidnapped, saved by their hero, and are moving on to their happily ever after. Now, Angelica Sinister his a whole different ball of wax compared to her sisters one of her sisters is kind of a it's a nice way to put this she's a quiet reserved young lady so completely you know not the standard for that family the other one is just completely set on hey you know we're just gonna do it my way and then angelica angelica is the youngest girl she is, without a doubt, um, very forward. Uh, you gotta remember back then, guys, 25 was when people thought that a woman was on the shelf. By 25, especially in high society, if she isn't married, she's pretty much done for on the marriage market. Well, she is considered 20 going on 25. She is just very set. She knows who she is. She is almost a matron of her own because she is just so right up there. Now, the Earl is hiding who he is. He doesn't really want to be kidnapping these girls. He doesn't want to. We're going to find out this, this whole problem started a generation back when their mom and dad ran off and got eloped. And the Earl is trying to save his people. He is a Highlander. He is very set. He has a code of honor, but he's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because he's being blackmailed by his mother. And if he doesn't, you know, do a certain thing, she's gonna make it so that he loses everything. Because he has this deal going with some bankers, and she took what was being held as collateral, so if he doesn't turn that in by a certain date, they lose everything. And she doesn't care, because she hates the people, she hates everything. She's just a, an evil woman. So, he finally captures one of these sisters. Now, through the previous two books, he's had other people go and kidnap. He's had other people trying to do it. He's trying to distance himself. This time he's like, nope, I've got it. This is my last chance. I gotta go in and do this. And he meets her at a soiree. Now, this is his first time going out and about. He was just trying to get an idea of her. And she approaches him. She's aside. somehow he is the man that she's been waiting for. She knows it. Just like that. So she gets somebody to introduce him. And during this time, he kidnaps her from the social event. And, you know, she's just so kind of like, no, no, no. I know this guy is supposed to be my, you know, the man I meant for. So I'm just going to be calm. I'm going to do this. And she's one of those type of people that at any time she could have escaped him. And once she's told exactly what's going on, what's doing, you know, what's at stake... She decides, you know what? I'll make a deal with you. Fine, we're going to do this. 
but the weddings get to be my choice. Yes, we will get married in the end because you're going to save, you know, my reputation. But we're going to do this. We're going to team up and we are going to defeat your mother. We are going to make this work. And she goes about in her methodical way of learning about where she's going, getting to know his people, being there. Heck, even uh, his two wards that he's responsible for. Finding a way to make them feel a part of it, you know. And throughout all this, them trying to fool his mother while still, you know, doing the right thing. Them trying to fight against another hidden enemy who's, you know, wanting him to fail. They're having to work together and they're building this relationship because instead of, you know, them having having to fight against, you know, each other to make it work, they're teaming up. And Angelica is just such a strong personality that she realizes he got lucky getting her because... Unlike her sisters, she's she's in a position mentally and willpower-wise to be his match. And it is just so great. It is an unbelievable story. I love how they go from hiding out in London to avoid her family to the traveling to the Highlands and, you know, getting to know the people. And throughout this, the people who know what's going on, uh, who work for him and everything... The, the retainers of his family. They've been very, you know, despondent. They've been very scared what's going to happen because so much is at stake. And as they get to know her, she gives them hope. She gives them this opening of this is what's going to happen. Guys, we are going to succeed. Even when they're in London, she gives them hope. That, guys, we're going to get there. We're going to go through this. We're going to go through that. This is how we're going to escape without my family noticing. This is what we're going to do in order to survive. They're going to get up to Glencoe um, and have to stop again, plan a little bit more, and then getting to his estate, his this huge, huge estate. And she is just the perfect woman for him, and he has to, he's realizing it. As he thought, oh, okay, I'll just marry her because that's the right thing to do, and... You know, I, I'm, I'm going to do the right thing and everything while protecting my people. She's going to show him, like, guess what? I'm what you need. I am the person you've been waiting for. And it's just an amazing story. It is wonderful. I love historical romance. I love all romances, guys. That's just, I am. Um, but in this one, I can reread, especially this three-pack of these sisters regularly. But this one I will come back to over and over regularly. Just grab it. And just want to reread it. So again, if you guys get a chance, please give Stephanie Lawrence a try. This story is just full of, I don't want to just say growth, but meeting your destiny head on and making it work for you. And I love this story. It's just, it's amazing. It's wonderful, guys. Again, if you get a chance, please give this one a read. Give any of hers a read. If you haven't noticed, I got a whole bunch of her books. <laughs> And again, guys, if you've read any of her books that you think are, you know, better than the others, let me know. If you are just trying this author out, please let me know uh, what you think of this author as a new author. And I hope you guys will send me some ideas for other authors to try and review. Hopefully you guys are having a great one. Find a book. They're always something fun to dive into. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. you enjoyed that please check out our other videos already on YouTube and give us a like and subscribe and if you hit that bell for notifications you'll know when we put something new out so try to make everyday matter by finding the fun you guys have a great one bye